Good morning, St. Peter's. This is Nicholas, and I would like to read Psalm 68 with you guys of David. May God arise, may his enemies be scattered, may his foes flee before him, may you blow them away like smoke, as wax melts before the fire. May the wicked perish before God, but may the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. May they be happy and joyful. Sing to God, sing in praise of his name, extol him who rides on the clouds. Rejoice before him. His name is the Lord, a father to the fatherless, a defender of widows. It's God in his holy dwelling. God sets the lonely into families. He leads out the prisoners with singing, but the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. The psalm continues, and I was wondering, what is this psalm about? It's about enemies. And even though we don't have armies, I know we all have our problems. I have my little worries, my stubbornness, my fears. But David writes that still the righteous may be glad, and we are made righteous in Christ. So we can be glad, but those problems are real. How? Why? He focuses on God, who is great, and who even gives the lonely there was a wonderful word in Psalm 6 for me as a friend of mine just um, got the news that he has positive corona and yeah, it's scary he's in isolation but he can have family as we can go to people from our church and yeah, God placed us in his family that's marvelous and the psalm continues with big mountain and you're wondering what is that, but we just read Hebrews in, um, in our small group, in our home group, and um, yeah, there in the last chapter, I think it's speaking about the mountain of joy and not of fear. And again, God is more victorious than our big, real mountains of problems. God has tens of thousands and thousands of thousands in chariots. That's verse 17. And he bears our burdens. Verse 19, and he gives, gives us even escape from death. When they are few from that. Yeah, we were speaking about that in a home group this week. Even then, God gives us escape. He is our savior. What was stunning for me is um, verse 18 where it says, You received gifts from people, even from the rebellious, that you, Lord God, might dwell there. Because it says about the wicked that they will perish and so, and so on. And so often I see myself disobedient to God's word. I should have done this, but I didn't. And even from the rebellious, yeah, he gets gifts and he is our savior. He saves us from death. And that's why the psalm ends again with singing. Singing even of the small and weak people. Proclaim the power of God whose majesty is over Israel, whose power is in the heavens. You, God, are awesome in your sanctuary. The God of Israel gives power and strength to his people. Praise be to God. That's the end of the psalm. It starts with this question about the enemies. How can we be glad then? But it continues with singing and it ends with singing. So I hope you have a song today um, that reminds you of God's goodness. Yeah, because He is good and He gives us joy. His joy is our strength. God bless you.